shot back. I was sure he was going to get fully barreled. Eddie, I didn't know you surfed. Well, technically, I don't. I boogie board. Hey, that's great. Poser. So, why aren't you with Steve? He doesn't want me around. I don't get it. Marty, tell me something. What's your assignment? To read chapters three through six in my textbook? You don't have a textbook. Oh, good. I was afraid I lost it. Look, Marty, this is good. You've helped Steve grow emotionally, so he feels confident without you. Oh, so that's why he's hanging out with Jordan. Oh, I see. You're jealous Steve has a new friend. Oh, please. I'd laugh if you weren't so on the money. <laughs> I knew he'd leave me one day, but did it have to be for a blonde? It's so typical. There, I said it. Mark, have you given any thought to making new friends here in heaven? I thought you were my friend. Well, of course I am. But don't expect me to pick you up at the airport. <laughs> It's not so easy making friends up here. Once you get past the whole what's on your tombstone bit, there's nothing to talk about. That's true. By the way, Marty, what is on your tombstone? A oh, lovely poem. Here I sit, brokenhearted. I try All to... All right, I don't need to hear any. <laughs> don't worry, Marty. You've got a lot of friends up here you could hang out with. And here they are. Contestant number one. Mrs. Winston, your third grade teacher. Oh, yeah. She stopped me from eating that thermometer. <laughs> she said if I kept eating weird things, I could die. <laughs> Wait a second. What do you think? She's nice, but I was hoping for someone a little hipper. She's had three hips. <laughs> someone with more of a sense of humor. Then how about contestant number two? One of your oldest ancestors. Marticus de Polo. I was the first comic to play Caesar's Palace, when it really was Caesar's Palace. <laughs> is it just me, or is every vomitorium run by a Phoenician? <laughs> so long, Roy. See you in Troy! <laughs> Poor unfunny ancestor. Don't worry. He plays the wacky neighbor in the Pontius Pilate pilot. <laughs> Finally, contestant number three. Hey, it's Uncle Lou. He was always nice to me. Marty? Marty DePolo, it's good to see you, kid. Uncle Lou, you're in heaven. I guess you really were in the olive oil business. Yeah, and that thing sliding around in my trunk really was a set of golf clubs. Hey, this is great. Uncle Lou, I'll be right over. All uh, right, this is a special occasion. I'm gonna put on pants. You do that. <laughs> All right, Marty, huh? What do you think? It's great. <laughs> Kalu, why are you locking the door? It's heaven. Yeah, those guys from Linden Skinned live next door. <laughs> hey, nice tank. Yeah. I feel like you stopped keeping fish because they kept dying on you. They did. That's their light at the end of the toilet. <laughs> Sit down, Marty, relax. This is great, Uncle Lou. It's just like old times. Yeah. Hey, you remember that game we used to play when you was a kid? Trying to drop things in your mouth when you're sleeping in front of the TV? Huh? No, remember? I got your nose. Uncle Lou, I think I'm a little too old to fall for that. Uh, you don't understand, Marty. I really got your nose. Uncle Lou, put it back on. Come on, it's not a joke. It's upside down. Oh, sorry. And I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> Sneeze all you want. This place is covered in plastic. <laughs> I don't want. How about some of Aunt Stella's nice sugar cookies? Oh, well, uh, sure. By the way, where is Aunt Stella? Oh, well, she's visiting her sister upstate. Wait till you see that place. It's huge. It's got these big walk-in closets, all kind of gizmos, and oh, you gotta sit down for this. A machine that makes bread. <laughs> wow. Hand to God. Come on, eat, eat. Mind you, mind you, mind you. Oh, not too fast. I don't want you to get the wind. <laughs> so what do you do up here for fun? You're doing it. <laughs> no, really. <laughs> Great.
big waves today. <laughs> yeah. Dude, where's the rest of your board? <laughs> oh, I'm guessing somewhere near Japan by now. <laughs> well, well, maybe I pushed you too hard. I mean, we don't have to go surfing them all. Let's go rock climbing. Rock climbing? Yeah, sure. I, I, I could do that. <laughs> all right, 6 a.m., Suicide Peak. Suicide Peak? Well, that's just the name. I mean, most people who died there, it was an accident. Oh. <laughs>